Okay, so today you guys announced two new games. I know one of them was kind of teased at TGS, The Witch Game. So, yeah. um, can you elaborate a little bit more like what that's all about? Mm -hmm. uh, the Witch and the Hundred Nights? Yes. Okay, um, The Witch and the Hundred Nights is Nipponichi Software's first action RPG. Uh, we've been known for strategy RPG and RPG for a long time, but we just wanted to try something a little different from the usual. So that's why they um, looked at their assets and they were saying, okay, we don't want to go to FPS, obviously, and we don't want to go to a full action game, so might as well build upon what we've done and try out an action RPG. And so that's what it is, and, and we've got all the same creators from our past series, as well as the artists, uh, Mr. Uh, Harada, he's the artist for the Disgaea series, so you definitely see the resemblance there. And then the game system itself is, it's kind of like, um, Individually, if you look at it, it's kind of like Diablo, bird's eye view, you have a character, you can hack away the enemies. But what's really interesting for the game is, you could be, it's not linear, so you could be as evil as you want, or as uh, good as you want. Uh, there's going to be various villages within the stages, and you go over NPC characters, cute little things walking around. If you're evil enough, you can go there and hack them away and kill them. Uh, and the story will change, because they're going to start to hate you. And the more they hate you, they will come after you. They, they, or they'll actually turn into an enemy. Um, but if you want to be good, you go go up, talk to them, try to solve their problems, and then be uh, friends with them, they'll help you out. So they're two different routes. And, and another thing is, um, unlike you know the traditional action RPG, like um, the classic ones, say like Secret Mod and things like that, um, this one has like an extensive customization or a combo system that you'll be able to pull off within the game different uh, various punch strokes uh, and then you'll get the camera will zoom in different effects so definitely a little more fast paced than what we uh, usually used to but I think it's going to be a different nice change pace So is this going to be like a full retail or is it like a PSN only download? Or uh, which and the 100 Nights will be a uh, full retail this game. So you could expect to see GameStop, Best Buy, various retails out there. Very cool. Um, so your first video game was coming out this guy. Uh, this guy um, 3? Yes. Um, yes. So is that something you guys are really looking forward to supporting like going yeah, forward? Is that a big initiative for you guys? We have very high hopes for your uh, PlayStation Vita. I hope it does great. Um, this guy 3, obviously like you mentioned, is going to be coming out next month on 17. So we'll just have to see how that does. But our headquarters in Japan is definitely going to keep supporting it and creating new uh, titles for it. So we're just going to have to see what they're going to be doing. But at the same time, and I say as a publisher, uh, we work with various other developers too. So if there are any other uh, interesting beta titles in Japan, we might work with these different developers to try to bring it over to the West. We'll see. Yeah. So to go back to the, the Witch and the Hundred Nights for a minute, yeah. is that the team that developed all the Disgaea games or is that a separate team or who um, exactly is working on that game right now? Uh, well, it's like a mixed team because like uh, there are, of course it's like the lead guy has been working on Disgaea like I think it was one or two, so like the, the earlier versions. Um, at the same time, there's a couple of guys that's been working on, uh, we have this action game called the Printing. Uh, that are side scrolling actually for the PSP. Uh, guys from that's been working on it, obviously from the action aspect, mm -hmm. they probably are a little more used to it than the RPG. So it's a mixed team, but um, it definitely there are staff members from the various titles we've been releasing in the past. Okay. Now, if you can't speak on this, it's completely understandable. But recently, uh, I believe it was Dengeki, a uh, Japanese game magazine, uh, yeah. had a cover of the new Atelier game from Gus. And they just got bought out by Tecmo. So, do yeah. you have any insight if you guys will be able to publish that in America? The new, um, I believe it's called Atelier Ayesha or Ayesha, something along those yeah, lines. Yeah, it looks like it looks really good. I, I actually saw it on internet this morning myself. Uh, it looks interesting. Uh, at the current moment, I we honestly don't have too much information. I don't know if we're going to be publishing it or if it's going to be Koei or Gus. Um, that's sort of up in the air. So we're just going to have to wait and see what. Uh, Tecmo Koa is going to be announcing, uh, hopefully sometime soon. Um, if we have the opportunity, we would love to continue supporting the game. Um, I mean, we've been publishing the past six Gus, no, six, maybe more actually, eight different Gus titles, so 
hopefully we can work on it, but again, that's something that's really up to uh, technical right now. So we'll, we'll have to see. Okay, and then another game you guys announced tonight was Mugen... Mugen uh, Souls? Yeah, so can you elaborate a little bit on what Mugen Souls was all about? Uh, Mugen Souls is a strategy RPG, uh, free roaming styles, kind of like Phantom Brave uh, and also uh, Sakura Wars, uh, turn-based. So it definitely has that Disgaea-like feel, it's just that it's not a great base anymore. You can actually move around uh, anywhere you want, and then uh, the rest of the gameplay is pretty much uh, similar to Disgaea. You have the attack rate and various skills, your teams, uh, fully customizable. What makes it really interesting though is the main character and what she can do. Uh, she's this really bad, bad uh, brat girl, uh, mm -hmm. she wants to take over the seven universes. And she's got seven different personalities, and each time she changes her uh, appearances and also stat completely changes. Uh, I think Sailor Moon with those seven different or seven mm. different girls, it's kind of, kind of like that. But uh, in this case, main girl is like a single person just changing personalities. And what she could also do is actually uh, charm or seduce the enemy so they'll actually be on your team. And the way that works is it's really weird. Uh, they call it moe in Japan, but what you do is you actually say different phrases to the enemy. Say, if there's like a really strong, bad looking enemy, you can say something like, you know, you really you look really strong, uh, whatever, and you can sort of try to flatter around and charm them. Mm -hmm. And if they sort of like it, um, they would actually uh, turn to your team. Mm -hmm. It's different, but it's pretty funny the way it works out. And you can actually have a combination of different phrases in order to increase your success rate. So. Okay. And then one last thing I wanted to ask you about is over the last couple of years, there's been stories that come out about NAS that you guys have been like consistently profitable. You guys don't lose money. You consistently like make money. So. What do you think it, uh, it is about the NIS games that people really enjoy, or what's made you guys like continually successful over the last like, three, four years? All our games, to be honest, it hasn't changed a bit, obviously. We're not really looking at graphics, it's just style, you know what's popular, you know what's popular, you know what's popular, something new, that's something different, um, and then I could try it out, uh, whether if it's this guy that, or some other like ZHP or the Premier or whatever it is, um, try to freshen it up so people uh, could continually see, um, enjoy the game, and it's really all thanks to the feedbacks and the, um, comments that we get from our fans and our audiences. Uh, we take that over to Japan and they actually really do listen to all the, uh, the feedbacks that we give. Uh, including all from the press too. And then they try to like improve the game uh, from the previous versions. Uh, again, it's not like a huge leap that it's gonna be this really great looking AAA title. It's not gonna be that, but it's gonna be improvements good enough that people could come back and say, oh, okay, this is actually a pretty, pretty good, decent game. And then that's what we've been trying to do over and over again. Um, our company is small, so even if you want to try to do like a really great looking 3D graphic game, it's really hard. Um, we just don't have that financial power to do so. But if it's game system wise, you know, it's, it's all idea based. And you don't really have to spend tons and millions of dollars to do so. So we try to keep that part of it. Um, it's tough. The market's really mm -hmm. tough. But um, thanks to all the guys out there, um, the fans, the press, we're, we're hanging in there. Because <laughs> I know initially the first Disgaea game you guys didn't self-publish was by Atlas. So yeah. consistently it seems like you guys have been like profitable. So if there's like a, a dream project, is there like a dream game or like something you'd love to do to like the Disgaea games or the printing games? Is there like a dream thing you would like love to do if you guys had the like funds and you had the available assets to do so? Well, personally, well, personally, I, I would like to try out, explore into different consoles more. Um, we try, we, you know, obviously we support uh, Sony a lot. Uh, they've been great. Uh, we support Nintendo, it's awesome. Um, we're going to be working with Microsoft as well. But uh, personally, I would like to try out more on the PC side. 
um, JRPGs is pretty much non-existent on PC. So if we have a chance and opportunity, we'd definitely like to explore into that realm and try to appeal more to the to PC audiences because there's a lot of guys out there that likes JRPGs, but you know, buying new consoles is pretty tough. So like, and obviously they do have a PC, and if we could sort of cater towards them, uh, these guys and gals, it'd be pretty cool. Cool. Well, thanks a lot for your time. We really appreciate you. it Thank so you. much. Journey for 10 million hours with your newfound friends. 10 million hours!